Cheap Thrills, not to be confused with the Sia song, is a DIY arts and craft series on Super Deluxe, where host Tabasco Sweet makes sweet knockoffs of designer brand clothing. His videos have garnered millions upon millions upon millions of hits on Facebook and YouTube. I fuck with Tabasco's wholesome DIY aesthetic, so when he asked me if I could help him build a recording booth in his room, I said heck yes family, mostly because I found out that day that Tabasco and I are actually distant relatives. I don't really talk to my family that much. When I found out our budget for our recording booth was literally $69, I decided to meet up with Tabasco at my favorite store, The Goodwill. What up everyone? I'm over here with my boy, uh, Tabasco Sweet, and we out here at the Goodwill picking up uh, some cheap thrills in the form of cheap electronics so that we can make some fire beats in the studio. Yeah, I've been to this Goodwill a hundred times, I gotta say, I think we're gonna find everything we need, my guy. <laughs> nice. Let's get shopping. Let's get it. So, uh, what essentials are we gonna need to like make the best studio of all time? Well, we're gonna need some speakers, a mixer, maybe even a PlayStation 1. We're also gonna need some speakers for these look pretty thick. Looks like the bass will come out pretty nicely on these. Yeah, I agree. Oh, wow. That's that's a good eye. This is a really good computer. This one looks pretty neat. So we're probably gonna need a MIDI keyboard or something. I don't know about this one, because it says it's 80 bucks, and my YouTube AdSense revenue is not allowing me to buy something worth 80 bucks at the Goodwill. Let's just take it anyways, who cares? We'll be able to use it if there's an interface. What? No way. This rig is fully slammed. So, I think we found everything at the Goodwill. Yeah. Ask the thrift gods and they shall provide, family. All right, now let's go home to uh, our studio so that we can set this all up in, uh, you know, four o'clock Los Angeles traffic. Ooh. Oh, hi, I didn't see you walk in there. It's your boy, Frank Jab C. So if you haven't noticed, I'm not in my studio. Well, that's because I'm at my boy's Nate's house and we're making the cheapest thrills on the cheapest equipment we possibly have. And I helped build this uh, super cheap and affordable recording booth. But you probably already know that if you came from Cheap Thrills DIY recording studio video. Link in the below description. You can click it and watch it. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it right now. Pause this video, watch it right now. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, the free version of FL Studio, uh, downloaded straight from their website, because if you pirate FL Studio, uh, that's really bad. Remember kids, pirating, uh, you, you get sent to a jail, YouTube jail. And that's why I have been gone for the longest time. But now that I'm out and I am a changed man, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the hottest mumble rap beats so that you too can get that sound cloud clout. Now let me show you how I got a beat that sounds like this. The root of any good beat is the kick drum. So what you're gonna need to do is find yourself a trap style kick drum. What I'm using is Vengeance Kick, which comes in the Vengeance sample pack. It was very sharp and snappy. So I really like a kick that thick. And then when you mix it, make sure it's like mixed at zero decibels. So it literally like kicks right through the track. For a variation, I use the simple trap rhythm with triple it note fills on every fourth beat like this. Now that we got our kick drum pattern in place, we're gonna need to add a sexy bass line. Because as you know, bass lines are the most important part of making music today. For the bass drop, what I used was a Lex Luger style kind of like low end thumper with uh, some distortion. I added Blood Drive and Maximus to it. So when you put it together with the kick, it sounds a little something like this. And as we all know with mumble rap, uh, people listen to it on their phone speakers really obnoxiously loud in public. So in order to really sound good on a phone speakers, your bass still needs to come through on the upper end right here in this frequency response area. Now that we got the bread of our mumble rap bass trap sandwich, we need to add the meats in the middle so that we're gonna have to add a snare or a clap or anything that's just snappy, that snaps right in the middle of our beat. Next, let's add the clap. I'm using a basic 808 clap that can be found in any uh, drum program or drum like a sample pack. But one thing you should notice about the kick and uh, the clap is it should take up the full frequency response. As you see right here the, where the kick 
ends, the clap begins. So it feels like a full just wall of noise hitting you with that thump and that uh, sharp snap. Now that we got that done, we're gonna have to add the hi-hats, which is the dressing or the lettuce or the sprinkles on top of our uh, trap banger. So just add the craziest uh, rattling hi-hats with the craziest fills, 16th note, 32nd note. They can go as fast as you want, family. Now let's add the hi-hats. At the beginning of every eight bar, I added a crash so that there's some emphasis on like the beginning of the bar so you can really feel when it begins by the crash. Next, let's go into what makes uh, the upper end of a trap be very interesting. So I got two hi-hats going on at the same time, one loud and one quiet. And then I have a little snare on the fourth bar to give it some variation. So the first hat is more of a metronome that just keeps beat and it's kind of quiet at negative six decibels. So that's half of the loudness that a track can make. And then the next one is more of like a, a give you like a little upbeat open snare kind of. So when you put it together, it's like a mts, mts, mts. Now to create variation, you can add a triplet roll to your hats, which sounds a little something like this. So now that we have everything done, we need to add some spooky melodies to make sure that our, our mumble rap banger is the spookiest uh, Fibonacci sequence laced uh, ratio uh, chord progression. So I'm just going to hit three notes over and over again. It sounds a little something like this. Now, as you know, trap music is all about hypnotizing your audience to really flow with the beat. And using melody is a great way to hypnotize someone. So using only three notes, a percussive plug can be used to really uh, hypnotize your audience. So for this, I am using Nexus and I created the most sharpest pluck. I turned the attack all the way down and the sus all the way down because you don't want no sus beats. The decay is down, but not all the way down because you really want the percussive pluck to hit. And for mixing it, what I did was I made sure that there's no bass to the pluck and uh, I want the pluck to be at negative 12 decibels so that it's not too loud and overpowers the vocals. Because what the pluck is mainly for is giving the vocals like a really nice place to sit inside the mix. So when you add everything together, it sounds a little something like this. And as you see, uh, the pluck resides in a really nice safe little pocket to allow the rest of the beat to flow around it. Now that we have this beat made, I have my boy Nate in the studio that we made on his channel making uh, some Fuego bars. So we're gonna try to go through every single rap ad lib there is to, uh, you know, warm them up for this, this fire that we're cooking. Let's get it, family. So for the first one, I want you to say, A. A, A, A. You're getting there? Okay, next one we're gonna say is, yeah. So make sure you say, yeah. And you really gotta feel it in your gut. Yeah. I'm really engaging my core on this one. To uh, to better enunciate and have more tone, I need you to go. Brrr, brrr. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now imagine you have a semi-automatic glue gun that is legal in uh, the United States, of course, and you're you're gonna glue as many things as possible. What sound does that make? Brrr. Nice. That's really gonna help bring out the enunciation in your voice when we start recording. What's up? So for this next one, what I'm gonna want you to do is imagine you're driving a really expensive Ferrari or some kind of Porsche or some kind of car that's worth a lot of money that rappers buy, and you're making a turn really fast while hitting the brake. What sound does that make? Skrrr! Nice, nice, nice. What is the sound you make when you touch something really hot or really cold? Ooh! For this one, what I want you to do is say you're in a crowded room and somebody asks you a question from across the room, what do you say? What? So now that we have our beat and we're all thoroughly warmed up, we need to write a hook, a fire hook for this song. So Nate, what type of hook or theme are you looking at? Well, picture this. Yeah. Just a young broke lad by the name of Nate Contreras. Wait, your last name's Contreras? My last name is Contreras too. It's almost as if we were an actual hashtag family. What? Where are you from? Uh, East LA. Me too. What? I don't know. Seems like YouTube runs in the family. I think I want the hook to be about finessing. So now that we have a loop, uh, yeah, my boy Nate's gonna go drop some fire in the booth. Flexing, we flexing, we flexing. Finessing, finessing, finessing. Flexing, we flexing, we flexing. Finessing, finessing, finessing. Flexing, we flexing, we flexing. Finessing, finessing, finessing. Flexing, we flexing, flexing. Finessing, finessing, finessing. 
Finessing the plug, finessing the Gucci, finessing some bud, finessing your girl, finessing that Louie, finessing Supreme, as if it's real? Bruh, what the fuck do you mean? Wow, that hook and chorus are fuego. I, I won't ever let those escape from my dreams and in my head forever because it's a good hook and chorus. Uh, we have all the essentials. We had a designer named Brand Things. We had cuckoldry of uh, having sex with other rappers' girlfriends in there. It had everything a mumble rap track needs. So now we're gonna need a verse. Since it's mumble rap, the verse is um, like four bars to eight bars of just the same thing, but only different. So Nate, you ready to record this verse? I love my mama, my beloved and yours too. You at the nine to five working. I'm respecting your girl in your room. Loud in the trunk when we cruising. Slamming the rig and we boosted. I'm with your mama in the drive through She about to buy the whole menu. Ooh. Thank you so much for watching this fine tutorial with my boy Nate, AKA Tabasco Sweet from Super Deluxe. Thank you so much for being on my show. Yeah, it's a little weird sitting in this seat, I gotta say. Uh, it's like I'm a guest in my own room. Yeah, it, it can feel like that, but you have a very poppin' room, and I love all the DIY aesthetic fashion that you've created, and it's a wonderful thing. Thank you, my guy. So yeah, if you want to check out his video, check uh, the links in the description, or click this video right here. You can click on it, and it'll go to the video so you can see the music videos that we made together. So the only thing that would make the, our track even more legitimate is if we got Anthony Fantano himself to review our track.